Oh, so mother. greedy. <laughs> My name is Nana Ashanti. If today is your first time, make sure you're thumbsing up this video, you're subscribing and sharing this video. There are a lot of stereotypes that exist about Africa and that's because most of us have refused to tell our stories. People still think we live with wild animals and whatnot, which I wish were true. Today, actually, we're in a very unique settlement in Ghana, in Bwabing Fema, in the Bunny East region. We're here today to see how humans and animals coexist. And if you didn't get that, that is not a regular thing that happens here. This is actually very unique. We want to tell the stories of Africa. We want to tell the stories of Ghana so everybody will know who we are, how we live. And I can't wait to go inside this town, talk to people about the history and how this settlement came to be. So make sure you're sharing this video you're subscribing your thumbs upping you're making sure that everybody in your circle sees this video to see how we also live here in Ghana I'll see you soon we met with members of the beekeepers association in Wabi Fiema in the next episodes we're going to be talking to them about your work um, with honey and so much more but for this one they took us around their own village to tell us about the history and how they live with monkeys guys so we're here in the habitats of the monkeys um trying to find a cemetery that the people do um organize for them can you believe they actually bury them like family when they do die um it's the day in the morning so they're in their habitats they usually come out at night so we're here trying to see talk to the tour guys to see what it is that goes on here but this is a very interesting settlement and arrangement that they kind of you know man and animal kind of live Side by side, and everybody kind of understands each other. So let's go looking for it. Nananum, a buy on the tomb one, or moon, we say. A moano, or moye, a moa dachin, or most of the bamfa so. Na nipa, a ho, be free in Yamia Babe, a moano. Inti, or mo jaw, or must say, they are almost better. No mo jaw, must a uni bray, we know, uni bray. And a black and white, no, so uni bray. It will be a two to sa. And I need almost friend Oh, the bed roof, you know, and channel who is a one so a ba our moons woof you and almost quite be sound or more fine out my tray. Say, that's him, you know, and one so the bamfa sent to moment home. No more jaw moment in one life. First, na hanging na you could a son one in tea jar quite hano, Emma, one man here quiet and almost to cause a while. Say, say, hey, now you're for a son and I own. And the robots on four. Ono ne waha, and this abu anu bi ne kuhuna ne yako friend na wa befana na odenira akatana na wa akare snap akamu na kutia mu na wesi mu na matuo ni na mabu duta wa So the um, locals are taking us to see the cemetery of the monkeys. Apparently when they do die, they have to perform some sort of ritual in order to bury them. Like I told you, they treat them like they're part of their households. So we're going to go there and see. Maybe we can get a little more history lesson 
about them and this unique wonderful community in Ghana. You were told you're too specious, the monad monkey, friendly, loves to eat whatever humans eat, loves to be around people, and then the black and white, which is the colobus, which likes to be more reserved, more laid back, so we went to look for it. So we're here like in the back of the village and they're telling us that these black and white monkeys they're actually like vegan they don't eat anything apart from like leaves coming on the trees that you're on and we're not supposed to get too close to them because they're very aggressive so if you can see them up there it's in the middle of the day so they're just chilling hanging out when it's in the evening they come down into the community and these ones are aggressive but they don't take any household items or any foods that humans eat so there you go as the temperatures got cooler some of the animals started coming into the homes and we got so many stories from the locals about how they steal your dinner sleep in your bed and so much more so much interesting stuff happened over here when you come to ghana and you're looking for something different to do i advise you to avoid the touristy sites make sure you're finding places like this if you go to Bwabe and Fema, the people are very friendly they're very willing there's an office there to guide you you i want you all to go here and experience this amazing unique community in ghana make sure you thumbs up subscribe share this video to all your social media networks and to all your contacts on whatsapp i will see you guys in the next episode take care